Welcome to my tea party. We dummies are back with part three of our audio program trilogy. If you're joining us for the first time without hearing part one or two, then all I can say is, dummies, wake up! Would you watch Return of the Jedi before Star Wars? Would you read the book of Job before reading the book of Genesis? Would you listen to the audio book of Glenn Beck's Arguing with Idiots before listening to The Real America? Go to one and two first. We aren't talking with Harvey Golub about his op-ed, My Response to Buffett and Obama, which appeared in tabloid King Rupert Murdoch's Wall Street Journal, along with other news of the world. Instead, we're talking to a dummy. Dummy, you were telling our listeners why the top marginal tax rate shouldn't be raised to 39.6% from 35% because it's unfair that those Americans living around the poverty line don't pay their fair share in taxes. And that's unfair to mega millionaires like you. Isn't that right? That's what I wrote. I know. And we're doing our best to let others know, too. Please, sir, carry on. Governments have an obligation to spend our tax money on programs that work. Absolutely. They fail at this fundamental task. And what government programs specifically are we talking about? All government programs, dummy. Government can't do anything right. Everybody knows that. Anything more specific? Do we really need dozens of retraining programs with no measure of performance or results? No way. Do we have those? Do we really need to spend money on solar panels, windmills, and battery-operated cars when we have ample energy supplies in this country? Drill, baby, drill! And frack, baby, frack! Do we really need all the regulations that put an estimated $2 trillion burden on our economy by raising the price of things we buy? Minimum wage, workplace standards, environmental protection? These things don't do anybody any good. Do we really need subsidies for domestic sugar farmers and ethanol producers and oil production and private equity? And do we really need all these strippers? What are you talking about? Oh, I thought we were just making shit up. Why do we require that public projects pay above market labor costs? And why do we keep feeding these unicorns? Why do we spend billions on trains that no one will ride? No one rides trains. That's so bourgeoisie. Why do we keep post offices open in places no one lives? Why do we have congressional districts in places no one lives? Why do we subsidize small airports in communities close to larger ones? I say we cut Alaska, Nebraska, and both Dakotas. Why do we pay government workers above market rates and outlandish benefits? And what's with the foot massages and free pedicures? Do we really need an energy department or an education department at all? Every dummy I know says no. We don't need no education. Here's my message. Before you ask for more money, and I put ask in quotations because I know you're not gonna ask. You're just gonna take, take, take it, take it all, take it all! Dummy? I'll go on food stamps! Dummy? My grandchildren will starve! Dummy? You just take and take and take and take! Dummy, we're still on the air. I hate you! I hate Dummy. you! I hate you! Dummy. It's not fair! Dummy? It's not fair! Dummy. It's not fair! Dummy, get a grip! Before you ask for more tax money from me and others, raise the 2.2 trillion you already collect each year more fairly and spend it more wisely. Then you'll need less of my money. My money! My money! Dummies, you heard it here first. Our own private interview with a great American hero, a titan of industry, represented by a dummy, sure, but who can tell the difference? That's all for today. If you like our work here at Mock the Dummy, send us some love. And if you'd like to make a donation to Keep Harvey Golub Off Food Stamps Foundation, or Kagafasuf, just visit our website. I don't know about you, but he sure persuaded me. No onerous return to a burdensome 4.9% extra on the top 1%. They can't afford it. Release the birth certificate.